Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. What we're gonna be doing today, swapping out the waste gate on my Evo 8. We believe the waste gate is bad because we can't hit our target boost. It's either 12 PSI where it's slow as hell, or it is pretty much not opening the waste gate whatsoever, so hitting 35 plus PSI. I picked up this OEM waste gate here locally, so I'm gonna go ahead and swap it on the cart now. It should be pretty easy to do, guys. There's only two 12 millimeter bolts on the turbo, one little clip for this end, and we should be good to go. All right guys, the waste gate is on. Let's go on a little drive and see if it works properly. So the car just hit like 35 plus PSI, but that is a good thing because with this exact map with the other waste gate, it was not any, anywhere near that. What I did notice though when I was putting that waste gate on, it's really hard to get the arm onto the waste gate flapper on the turbo. So I think that may be a little bit too tight. I'm gonna speak to my tutor when he wakes up. It's really freaking early in the morning right now. So you guys see that little rod right there? The longer that rod is, the less boost it'll build and the, the shorter it is, so the tighter it is, the more boost it'll build. So I'm gonna simply lengthen that arm up and hopefully it'll build less boost because we're, we're shooting for like 28 PSI right now. I got that wastegate arm adjusted about four turns out. So if the boost is a little bit low now, I'll know why because it's almost all the way out. Let's go on a drive and see what happens. Hey, that's better. That's definitely better. That was like holding 30 right at 30 PSI. Let's do another 3,000 to 5,000 pull. A little bit over 30 PSI, so I think we're pretty damn good there. Steady 32-ish PSI. I set Mark at Apex over the log. Everything else looked fine on the car. The AFRs were good. Check engine light wasn't flashing or anything. So that is all good to go. Definitely was a faulty wastegate though. Now the car is good to go. I think from here on out, it was just a few minor tuning tweaks and we should be cold in with the tune. I'm so hyped right now. Finally, it's been a long journey. So many weird sensor issues with the car, wastegate issues, and now we're building some power. And trust me guys, that thing was hauling ass on 32 PSI. Just heard back from Apex Powered and the thing is good to go. He sent me another map. We're keeping the boost pretty high. We're keeping it at 32 PSI for now. And he said on that first pull I just sent him, we are almost to like 400 foot pounds of torque, which is pretty freaking crazy. So I am going to go do another data log, another pull and see what happens. Let's do it. We are all done with the three to 5,000 RPM poles. Car's running very, very good. No check engine lights, no weird, funny, random misfires or anything. So now we're going from 3,000 to 6,000 RPM, revving a bit higher, just trying to get the power out of this car. And let me tell you right now, it feels so good. It feels so much more, I don't wanna say it has more power than the Evo 10, because I don't think it has more power than the Evo 10. It's definitely a lot lighter of a car though, so I think the power to weight ratio is better. I'm curious to see when we line the Evo 10 up and the Evo 8 up together, what car would win? I'm really curious. It's gonna happen. It has to happen. Right now, I'm just throwing another map on the car. We're gonna go data log it once again. I think at the end of the day, being a 2.4 liter, it's not gonna rev as high as like a 2.0. For example, my Evo 10, that car revs to 8200, I wanna say with the stock head, stock cams and all that. This thing's probably not gonna rev that high though, I don't think. Either way, it's gonna be a fun car. I cannot wait to get all the tuning done and move on with the build. We've started to do pulls from three to 7,000 RPM now. I ran into a really weird issue though. The car is only peaking out about 18 PSI and then it'll taper down to 12. I'm gonna pull the car in the shop, see what we can figure out. I hope you guys can hear me fine. This car is loud as hell. So the first thing I usually check over when I have a little random issue like this, when I know it's not nothing in the map, is check over all the intercooler piping. Just grab it, tug on it a little bit, make sure it didn't pop off anywhere. It's usually like this lower intercooler pipe down here that I've been having problems with. And it's definitely still on there. Oh shit. <laughs> oh Lord. I think I blew like straight up demolished a freaking intercooler pipe coupler. It always cracks me up when stuff like this happens. You can't be mad. It just means your car's making good power, good boost. But check this coupler out boys. We got big ass crack right in it right there. That's pretty crazy. So first I was blowing this coupler off. Now I just straight up threw a big ass crack in it. Let's go try to find a new coupler. So I have a bunch of intercooler piping right here. Hell yes. 
Let's go throw it on, see what we can do. So back when the channel was first starting out, first taking off a little bit, hitting that 10K, 20K subscriber mark, I was doing a ton of giveaways on the channel. I would take old parts I don't need anymore and I would sign them and give them away. Drop a comment and let me know how much wheel torque you think this car is gonna make. It's a 2.4 liter Evo 8 with the Evo 9 turbo. You can get a chance to win this coupler. I'll sign it, send it off to you guys. You can throw it on your freaking wall, toolbox, whatever, something cool, you know? So yeah, go drop a comment down below. Let's go throw this new coupler on and get back to building some boost. Oh shit, safest day she's back boys. That was like 34 PSI right off the bat, but it's a steady 34 PSI. I had to stop that long because on the wet pavement, not even on snow, the f***er went sideways in third gear. Damn. Let's try that again. Alright guys, so I just did one more pull and we blew something else on the car. Some sort of intercooler pipe I heard go boom. So let's head back to the house. Hopefully it's not that same damn coupler we just replaced. Yo guys, I found the issue. The line popped off the back of my boost gauge somehow. Pretty much all done tuning, all finished up with tuning. I am getting some spark blow out around like 5,500, 6,000 RPM. So I'm actually gonna get home right now, head to the shop and tighten up the plug gap a little bit. I think it's at 22,000 right now. And Mark suggested that I go down to like 18,000, um, so 0 0.018. And that should help fix the spark blowout issue we're having under full boost. So hopefully it does. Um, car's running very, very good. As you guys can see, it hauls ass. I'm really excited to get this thing up against the Evo 10 because this thing's fast. This thing's really fast. So we're gonna recap this spark plug right here. Right now it's at 22 thousandths, like I said earlier. We're gonna go down to 18 thousandths. The shorter the gap is, the less uh, spark blow I should have under full boost. Here's a scoop. I just heard back from Mark from Apex Power. Tune on the car is good to go. He sent me another map with flat foot shifting enabled. So I'm gonna throw some gas in the car. It's getting a little low on gas. I've heard from you guys a lot, like don't haul ass in your Evos when it's low on fuel or probably, that probably goes for any car in the world, but I'm gonna throw some gas in the car and do our first official pull. I'm gonna throw the GoPro on and I'm gonna see if I am still gonna miss gears in this car like I do in the Evo 10. I know a lot of you probably think I'm a terrible shifter and maybe I am. Maybe I'm not, I don't really know. Well, I, I think I'm not a terrible shifter. I think I'm pretty good at driving, but I think the Evo 10 training just has some issues. So that's gonna be solved today. Let's go throw some gas in the car and see what we can do. As you guys saw, not a single gear was missed. That flat foot shifting that is enabled is super, super nice to have. 
I think we're still getting a little bit of spark blowout, which should be fixed when I get my coil on plug system installed. It should eliminate that problem 100%. That's what I'm hoping at least. Um, yeah, so I guess that solves the debate of whether or not Devin can drive. I had a three pulls for you guys and every single gear was perfect. This training is absolutely amazing. I haven't had a single issue with it whatsoever and I haven't even done anything. I haven't done any new bushing upgrades. I haven't adjusted the clutch pedal throw or the throw play, how it should be adjusted. I literally have not touched it, touched anything and it's perfect. I love this transmission. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video right here. Remember, if you guys wanna win that demolished coupler, go down in the comment section below and drop a comment. Let me know what you think it made for wheel torque numbers. I did not tell you guys, but it ended up making 420 horsepower at the wheels, which is pretty damn good for what's done to it. It's a 2.4 with the Evo 9 turbo, not a crazy big turbo like the Evo 10 has. Um, 420 horse, you guys get the torque and you can get a chance to win that coupler. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, if you want to support the brand, support the channel, www.boston.com, first link in the description box below, will be a link to my merchandise website. Seriously, thank you so much for all the support on there as well. Channel's popping, brand's popping. Thank you guys, couldn't be done without you. Thank you for watching, I'll see you tomorrow.